The spacebar looks weird. Yes, I flipped it. The spacebar is flipped. Uh, I'm just recreating it. Exactly. Everybody, welcome back to Binging with Himaji. Today, we're going to be building our first ever custom mechanical keyboard. It's always been something I wanted to invest in, but never really did. I thought that it was finally time I took a dive in the deep end. Today's build is a 60% keyboard. Starting off, we have a nice aluminum plate, a DZ60 RGB hot swappable PCB, both from KBD fans, some Zelios V2 62G switches, a cute little switch remover, some Tata 68 PBD keycaps from KBD fans, and a beautiful aluminum tofu case. The build quality is phenomenal and it looks so clean. And uh, okay, this is me trying to get the sound, ignore that. The first thing I wanted to check on was my PCB. I wanted to make sure that it worked and all the lights were functioning, because without a functioning PCB, this keyboard would mean absolutely nothing. And plus, this is really nice to look at. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a sucker for RGB lighting in general. One time I even bought a Razer mug just because I thought the lights looked dope. Probably one of the worst purchases I've ever made, but it still looks pretty cool. I kind of regret getting a case that didn't allow the RGB lighting to come out, but at the same time, I really do like how clean and simple it is. Next up, we have our stabilizers. And these will be used for the larger keys to, well, stabilize them. It's a common practice in the community to clip these for a smoother experience and sharper feel. We have to first of all slowly open them up, find the L shape on the stabilizer, cut that off, and then put it back together. And you have to do that for each and every stabilizer. And now for one of the most tedious but rewarding processes, lubing the switches. Switches out of the box can be a little scratchy when used, so most people tend to lightly lube their switches to give a smoother experience when typing. You'll probably want to put some music on or listen to a podcast while doing this, because trust me, it will take a long time. I'm using Thin Lube from Zeal PC, reason being that I don't want to over lube my switches. Since this is my first time ever doing it, I thought it would be smart if I went with something lighter so it's harder to mess up. To lube the switches, you have to first of all open them up. I didn't have a key switch opener, so I had to resort to using a screwdriver. If you are using this method, please be careful. I actually stabbed myself with a switch, which I never thought I'd say in my life. So learn from my mistakes and get a switch opener. After you clean up your blood off the table, get a decent amount of lube and lube the sides of the mount, using three strokes each on each side. Then lightly lube the little pillar in the middle. After that, you want to lube each side of the stem. Then the bottom part of the stem, and then the middle part without the circles. And lastly, lightly lube the spring and reassemble. So as we continue to- oh god no! It took me a while to realize that I had dropped the lube, so let's just watch and cry as we slowly see the lube pour out. And then cry some more when we hear the words no parents ever want to hear from their children. Oh shit, my lube fell. After what was about one to two hours of very inefficient lubing, we can then move on to actually attaching the switches onto the PCB. Oh, actually, wait, no, never mind. I forgot to lube the stabilizers, so let's just quickly do that. I didn't film it properly, but basically you take the thing out, get the metal thing, put lube on the metal thing, but not too much, because then it's over lubed, put it back together, and you just... This is a hot swap PCB. This means that I don't have to go through each and every switch and solder them to the board. This has its advantages, main one being that I don't have to go and spend a lot of time soldering each and every switch to the board. The main disadvantage is that a lot of manufacturers don't make hot swap PCBs for a lot of other layouts, meaning I'm restricted to mostly 60%. Either way, it was a huge time saver and a great introduction board for beginners like me. After we secure all the switches into the PCB, start off by unscrewing the screws in the case. After that, generally place the PCB in the case and screw until nice and tight, but not too tight. Now we can finally start the final satisfying process of securing the keycaps onto the switches. At this point, you've done it. This is how it feels to build a full mechanical keyboard all by yourself. Feels good, right? What are you gonna tell your parents? They'd be so proud of you. And now, as you reach the final keycap, you can finally complete your- Oh my god, I bought the wrong keycap set. Okay, um, okay, 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 ignore that. This is the final keyboard. Totally didn't have to wait three weeks for another batch of keycaps or anything. So, the final product. Do I like it? Yeah, this was a great first keyboard to build and I'm really happy with how it came out. The Zelios V2 switches are an absolute dream to type on and they sound amazing. I've been absolutely spoiled with these switches and every other keyboard I use now just doesn't feel right. So thanks, Zeal PC. If you'd like to get these switches for yourself, I have an affiliate link that you can use in the description below. And before we end this video, here's a sound test comparing my Razer Black Widow V2 Chroma with yellow key switches from Razer with my new custom keyboard with Zelios V2 62G lube switches.
And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was a really cool project to work on and I have a lot to learn. So please forgive me if I made any mistakes. Once again, if you're planning on getting your own switches, please consider using my affiliate link in the description below. You can also support me on Patreon to get sneak peeks to videos as well as an exclusive role in my Discord server. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.